hi guys so last week i was just kind of a sit down video and i feel like i had a really important message to say i might have been a little low energy but it was basically about my spring break and what my expectations were and kind of what happened because something major happened and if you guys want to watch that video i'll try to remember to link it down below and then me and charmaine we both had really tough weeks so we were supposed to do a collab and we ended up each doing like our own individual videos and then this week we messaged each other and Charmaine ended up having a not so great week again. She said she had a crazy week. And you guys can watch her Mass Monday video. I'll actually try to remember to link it down below. I just watched it. I actually took her advice and I cut off the little piece over here. Because uh, I did notice it would like come into my mouth as I was trying to talk to you guys. So since we don't have a collab video today either. I figured I would use this as my book review video. Because I did say I would do it once a month. And boom we are in May. So this was my book for um february march april may april <laughs> yesterday was april and i'm already forgetting what it was this was my book for april i showed it to you guys at the end of april's book review and i said so far i was liking it but i honestly hadn't finished it and i was saying i was gonna give you guys like star ratings so out of five stars i would probably give this a 3.5 and that is only because of the ending if not for the ending this would be getting four stars i actually really really enjoyed this book i flew through this book in fact i started another book in april so you guys if you didn't watch that first one it's a little bit of a longer one because i backtracked and i talked about all the books i've been reading since january but basically my resolution for 2022 was to read a book at least once a month i used to love to read and then you know life gets in the way you start watching youtube you start watching netflix you want to just chill after work and i don't know i just like and I, I moved a lot too since 2019 and a lot's been happening since 2020 we all know that so book, book reading just did not become a priority but i wanted to make it a priority so that's why i made it one of my resolutions but also once i start a book i get kind of like obsessed with it not like obsessed i think that's the wrong word i like binge it and i'm like oh my god okay i want to see how this ends and the next thing i know i'm ignoring everything else i need to do you know what i mean like i'm not washing dishes i'm not cleaning my house and I want to live a more balanced lifestyle. I've told you guys that before. I'm like a very all or nothing person. So that's why I made the goal for one a month. And I don't push myself. I let myself read the book slowly. But this book was one of those books. And I found myself reading through it pretty fast. But so I did end up starting another one. And I will talk about that next one. But the only reason I like I said, I'm giving this 3.5 stars is because the ending I found the ending. I did not like the ending. I did not enjoy it. I hated it. Honestly, this book was really, really, really good. So I don't want to stop you guys from reading it. But I was like, wait, is there a sequel? Because you, there's no clear ending. I was so confused. And no, there is not a sequel. I, I guess I understand why she ended it that way. Because like I told you guys, so Cut Both Ways is about a boy. I'm telling you what's in the synopsis. I'm not giving you any spoilers. But it's a, a coming of age story about a boy who kisses his best friend who is a man and he's very confused because he's like i never thought i was gay i don't think i'm gay but i didn't hate that kiss does that make me gay and him and his friend end up having a love affair a secret love affair and he tells himself but like, he can't see himself with another man so is he gay only for his friend and then he ends up uh meeting a neighborhood girl who is neighbors with his father and is interested in her too so then he's like, wait a minute, but I like Brandy too. So he, ne you never ever hear the word bisexual in this. Um, and I think that was the point of it. I remember when I ended up looking up to see if there was a sequel. It was all about how um, she wanted to make it where, because I'm pretty sure this author is female, Carrie. Um, because a lot of people uh, don't consider like bi to be a thing. Like that's something on your way to becoming gay. So I think that's why she avoided using the word bisexual. And you really see this character really like gripe with what he's going through because he has true feelings for both these people and he's dating the woman openly while he's being with his friend on the side and he's like i never thought of myself as someone who's a cheater uh but i love both of them like he's really struggling here this book is really good and not just that he comes from divorced parents so he lives in and out of two different homes the mother's remarried has two kids so there's a lot more storyline than just that but it is such a good book i just do not like the ending whatsoever so that is why i'm giving it 
3.5 stars if not for the ending it would definitely be like four stars and guys i got this book at dollar tree i mentioned that in that video so you can find some gems some gems at the dollar tree y'all i was shocked with how good this was and i looked it up on amazon and it was definitely um still available to buy and it was over ten dollars i don't remember anymore, but it was definitely in the teenage numbers and i know and i think that might have been for the soft cover not the hard cover because I remember when I showed you guys, yeah, right. Oh, maybe that was it. I remember I showed you guys. It says over here, $17.95. Then Dollar Tree puts the, like, their own barcode on it. So it rings out the dollar or dollar twenty-five. So then I said, you know what? I'm loving Dollar Tree books. So let's try another one. So when I finish that book, this is the next book I read. I'm still currently reading it. So it has my bookmark in here. And this is Anna Lee in Real Life. And at first, I thought I wasn't going to like it. Because it opens up to like a fantasy scene. And it's not that I don't like fantasy. I love Harry Potter and Magical Worlds. But this one was different. It was like, um, it wasn't like witches and warlocks. There was like boars and fairies. And I don't know. It was just like something I wasn't really expecting. But then I was like, wait a minute. I know what this is. So this book is about a girl who leads two lives. That's why it's Anna Lee in real life. She plays like World of Warcraft. They don't use World of Warcraft. That's not the title of the game. I don't think she ever titles the game, but <coughs> that's what it's mimicking. It's kind of like a World of Warcraft. And she's like a warrior in there. And that's the persona that she loves. She feels like she's a warrior. She's strong. She's beautiful. And then the real life her is like the girl at school that has nobody friends, that nobody talks to. So the opening scene is her playing in the game. And then she gets off the game and she's living her real life. And she does go in and out of the world. But more often you're seeing her in real life. And the popular boy at school ends up being her lab partner. And I will say right now, I thought this was going to be a little corny because it's one of those where they fake date because he's trying to get his ex-girlfriend's attention. And I was like, oh, they're going to end up falling in love and being together. And I was just like, it's going to be one of those corny books where I already know the ending. Now, I don't know the ending because, you know, I haven't finished yet. I think I'm probably going to read the rest of it when I get off of here. I'm at 356 and this one has 402. So I have less than 50 pages left. I will say this is not not it is what i expected it to be but i don't know if the ending yet but it is so good still like even though it has that like corny storyline there's so much more to this she lost her mother her father's getting remarried so she's dealing with a stepmother and a stepsister and the grief of her her mother her mother had cancer uh and then you find out she did have a best friend who was with her her as her mom was getting treatments and stuff but then you find out that the best friend started being like the popular girl at school and kind of ditched her but then you find out there's more to it there's a reason she ditched her you know what i mean so there's a lot more to the story than what meets the eye you know it's not like what's that movie where she's all that with freddie prince jr where he dresses up the nerd and ends up dating her just to get somebody jealous and they fall in love like that's what i was expecting but there is so much more to this story and then she has like an online boyfriend um while she's pretend dating the popular boy and the popular boy and her end up having a connection because his mother's no longer in the picture and he has a stepmother that he can't stand and he ends up having a lot more to his character than she realizes because she was thinking he was just like the popular boy at school who never has any problems and it, there's a lot more to it and she she is literally grieving her mother like you're reading this and you're like wow this girl is going through some serious stuff and it doesn't talk about her having an anxiety disorder but when you read this you really feel like she has an anxiety so she literally worries about every single word she says because she's always scared she's gonna come out looking stupid or dumb or that people are gonna laugh at her and that's literally what i think of as someone who has anxiety because i have it and i'm like I, I mentioned that in my last video about how i had to go to the funeral and i was worried i was gonna say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing and how i worry too much and that's literally this girl she just says all the time she wish she could be easier on herself um such a good book and then the stepmother is like a yoga instructor and the stepmother's always telling her like oh want to do yoga with me like you need to learn to meditate and relax and she can't stand her stepmother but towards the end they start building a building a better relationship so you will get my i won't put stars on it yet because i haven't finished it so look that out for june i will tell you my star rating on this book but so far this is like a four star book i have been absolutely loving it. and again guys another dollar tree find it's amazing 
the things you can find at Dollar Tree. This would have been $12.99 and I got it for $1.25. I'll try to remember to look it up on Amazon or online in general so I can tell you um, if that's accurate or not. But according to the back here, it went for $12.99. But it has been such an amazing book so I can't wait to see the ending. And then I will talk to you guys. Um, so this won't technically be my May book. So let's say this was technically uh, my April book because I'm basically done with it already. And it's the second. So these were my two April books, which I'm okay with going over. And I, I don't have to stick to one book a month. I just don't also want to, like I said, I don't want to ignore my other priorities to read a book. So even right now, I'm kind of ignoring my priorities, but there's only 50 pages. So I'm letting myself do that right now. I'll be done with that in like an hour and a half probably because I do have dishes in the sink and stuff like that. But anyway, and then for May, I am actually reading a um, trilogy. And I should have grabbed the books, but I didn't. I don't remember the name of them right now. My friend Diana borrowed, uh, let me borrow them. So you guys will look out for them uh, in June. And I will talk about my May books and I'll give you the star rating on this one. But that's it for this video. My book reviews will be a little on the shorter side. Yeah, because I'm only at like 10 minutes. That first one was almost half hour only because I was backtracking and talking since January. Um, but I will try to remember to post it down below if you guys are curious to see what I've been reading, what I think of them. So I will try to remember to post Charmaine's Mask Monday video since I talked about her. And I will try to remember to post um, my book review video, the first one. And like I said, you can check out my last Mask Monday video if you want to know how my spring break went. I'll try to remember to tag that down below. So always check out the description box. I also always tag my Instagram if you guys want to check me out there. Uh, that's it for this video. If you guys like Brooke Reviews, if you like me, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. You guys tell me down below, are you participating in Mask Monday? Whether you have a channel or not, um, you know, self-care is always good. What do you like to do for self-care? Are you also a book reader or totally fine if you just want to watch YouTube? Like, I wasn't trying to, like, you know, downgrade that. That's totally fine. It's just, you know, sometimes it's just good to do something different instead of just staring at the screen. I tell you guys all the time, like, I've been really into adult coloring and, um... Word searches, I've been doing tons of the word searches I've been buying at Dollar Tree. It's just, you know, sometimes you just need to change it up. And in the summer, it's always good. That's actually when I tend to read more. So I might go through more books in the summer months because I like to sit on my porch and sit in the backyard and be by the pool and the beach and all that. Um, you guys just uh, let me know down below what you do for self-care. Are you reading any books? Are you looking forward to the summer? Is it really, really hot where you are? I always love conversing with you guys down below. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.